In today's health alert, Canadian wildfires led to dangerous air quality across the whole country. Thank you for staying with us. I'm Glenda Lewis. And I'm Brian Abel. A recent national poll found many parents are worried about the impact these fires and poor air quality overall are having on their children's health. Our chief health editor, Dr. Parthen Andy, here to discuss the survey's findings. And Doc, what did this report uncover? What do we need to know? Yeah, as a dad, I'm just not a doctor, I'm a dad. I'm also concerned about how the wildfires and extreme weather are, you know, these conditions are impacting my kids. So it's not surprising to me that a poll conducted by the University of Michigan's CS Mott Children's Hospital found that 73% or three in four parents like myself are worried about how air quality problems could impact their child's health. 67% or two in three parents have noticed poor or unhealthy air quality in their local area with wildfires being the most common cause and among parents who had noted poor air quality one in five believe that it had a negative impact on their children's health now what's important to understand is that air quality can significantly affect your child's health because their lungs are smaller and they breathe faster they're more exposed to pollution this can cause or worsen respiratory conditions like asthma and bronchitis and also since kids organs are still developing they're more vulnerable to health risks from exposure to polluted air furthermore little tiny particles from pollution can penetrate deep into the lungs and this can cause a range of health problems like poor cognitive functioning which means that you're not thinking as well impaired behavioral development childhood cancer and an increased risk of obesity which is an epidemic also it can lead to stroke and heart disease later in life all bad stuff so a lot of uncertainty for parents in this poll and then also a lot of them didn't know how to protect their children, right? So what advice do you have to help yeah, them Yeah, the poll like, actually showed that fewer than 63% of parents, Ryan, said they felt like they knew how to protect their kids. Amongst those who did take action, here's what the poll found. 69% kept their windows closed. 68% limited their child's outdoor activities, which is not great. 47% had their child avoid strenuous outdoor activities. 19% used a home air filter, and 11% had their child wear a mask when outdoors. Now, all these actions I just mentioned are great steps parent can, parents can take when air quality is poor. Keep in mind, however, that bad weather days can sometimes drag on, and parents may need to find a balance between keep, keeping kids indoors and letting them play outside, as you know, outdoor play is, is super important for kids' mental and physical health. However, if they do play outside, Please keep an eye out for signs of breathing difficulties, like wheezing and coughing, super important. If there's a history of asthma or environmental allergies, then definitely consider indoor options for physical activity. I'd recommend that parents talk to your child's family doctor about air pollution and how it may affect their, your child's health. And it's, it's, again, it's a balance, right? You don't want to keep people cooped up inside if the air is poor. So you got to find ways to keep kids act, active so they're not looking at one of these bad boys all day long. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. Important information as always. That includes you, Brian. Don't look at that. I'm never video. on my phone. Let him know, never. Doc. Let him know. <laughs> Thanks, Doc. <laughs> if you have a health question for the doctor, you can email him, Dr. Nandy at askdrnandy.com, or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter.